Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, are tuning boxes safe? Boils down to two things really, engine, and that is the one, the uh, air fuel ratios are not good. Air fuel ratios are dangerous and they can cause damage to the engine. And the other argument is uh, the ignition timing. Again, connected to the first one, because the tuning box is lying to the uh, car's ECU, the ignition timing is not correct, and that can also cause damage to the engine. Well, that's the theory anyway, and those are the two big arguments I see against tuning boxes on turbo petrol engines. Now, let me just say from the off, I've got no, I've got no dogs in this fight, as they say. I just want to be as fair as possible. Let's deal with the issue of the air fuel ratios first of all. On the more, uh, what could you say, karma discussions, people are saying about the lambda sensors. Okay, the car's got a wideband lambda sensor, which the yeah, air monitors the air fuel ratios, but you know the the lambda sensor is after the. Where's this guy stopping or what? The air fuel ratio is after the combustion event, so it's uh, it's old data, if you like, and you know the damage has already been done by the time the lambda sensor reads the air fuel ratio. Look, for, fundamentally, from a basic point of view, yeah, the lambda sensor is after the combustion chamber, and yes, the lambda sensor is measuring something that happened in the past, but they're going to be using a wideband lambda sensor. And that lambda sensor is sending to the signals to the ECU like many times a second. So yes, it's all data if you like, but it's only all data from you know 0.1 of a second ago. And I don't think there's that's enough time for the air fuel ratios to go radically wrong and cause damage to an engine. So I don't think that's an issue. However, this brings me on to point two. The majority of cars, especially the newer cars, they all have MAF sensors, mass airflow sensors, and that is what that is the data that the car's ECU uses to determine how much fuel to inject. And a tuning box which is adjusting the MAP sensor, MAP pressure, is not going to be is not interfering with the, the MAF signal. So yes, the tuning box is manipulating the MAP sensor, and yes, the car's ECU is underestimating the boost that the, the engine is making, but the ECU still knows exactly how much air is going into the engine and that is why the air fuel ratios won't have any problems. So you've got two things there. One, you've got the MAF sensor telling the ECU how much air is going into the engine and two, you've got a checkup like, and that's the wideband lambda sensor is also confirming that the calculations that it's making is correct. So for me, not a valid argument about the air fuel ratios, it won't make any difference. And then we come to the other one, which is ignition timing. Again. The, the car doesn't know how much air is, it doesn't know the boost pressure, so it doesn't know the correct ignition timing for the engine. Again, okay, yes, the boost pressure is, it is under reading the boost pressure, but again, it is measuring the, the uh, MAF sensor signal, and the MAF sensor tells it how much air is going into the engine. And again, ignition timing, is calculated by the mass in each cylinder against the RPM and the load that's requested, the power that's requested from the driver. And none of those things are affected by a tuning box. So again, the ignition timing is going to be correct with a tuning box, even though it is lying to the, uh, to the car's ECU. However, having said all that, there are some exceptions to this rule, and that is the some cars, tuning boxes for some cars, depending on the manufacturer, the tuning box will intercept the mass mass airflow, uh, the ma manifold absolute pressure signal, the boost pressure sensors, at the minimum, has to do that. But some also go a bit further than that, and they will even manipulate the MAF sensor, which is what I've been talking about, the mass airflow sensor signal. And for those cars, you have to assume that the the air fuel ratios were too rich anyway from the factory in the tuning box manufacturer knows that they can light the MAF sensor by a certain amount and the air fuel ratios are still going to be good. Possible, possible if it's extremely rich, but I would say a bit risky. I think more likely what they're doing is they're going to be relying on the on the uh, lambda sensor 
So that's the exception to the rule. In those cases, instead of having two, two things measuring the uh, fuel in, you've got the one thing. So that's it guys, basically that is the video, a quick addendum to this video, there is, there is an exception to what I'm saying, yeah, when the car manufacturers are doing their endurance testing if you like on their cars, they'll put the car under big loads under extreme temperatures, so extreme weather, extreme loads, and they'll see if the car has any problems, however, Someone might be driving around in similar condition, plus they've got a tuning box on the car. So, okay, the car manufacturers have tested it under extreme circumstances, but the customer with the tuning box is also putting the car under extreme circumstances, but the engine is making 20% more power in the same conditions, which obviously the car manufacturers never tested for. But for me, that is a common sense issue and not something related to the, the safety, if you like, of a tuning box. If you're going to be putting the car under extreme stress and you know that I've got a tuning box in this car and it's making 15-20% you know, more power, then logically I've got, to, I've got to think to myself that maybe I've got to take it a little bit easier because the car is making that much more power and I think that's just a common sense issue. And I suppose the final point is that Maybe the, maybe one criticism you can have of tuning box manufacturers is that they make their products uh, seem like they're intelligent, that they're dynamic, and whatever whatever you have. It's, it's a passive product in my, uh, in my opinion. It's, a tuning box is no different to any other product that you put on an engine to increase horsepower, like bigger turbo cams, etc. Whenever you increase the, um, the power that an engine is making, you're putting more stress on the engine, the engine components and that is going to reduce the life of the uh, engine in some way. What difference, that could, what difference that makes, how big a difference it's going to make is depends entirely on how the car is used and how well or, or not it's looked after. So that's the video guys, our tuning box is safe. As always, thank you for watching if you've made it this far. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Look after yourself and I'll see you again next time.